because this video is only five minutes, we're going to get right to the point. What I'm going to be talking about here is I'm going to be talking about oxidation in your dough system. Now, oxidation has been used for the, in the baking industry for many, many years. You may have heard of things like uh, potassium bromate. Uh, that was used for, oh man, 50, 60 years. Uh, and it gives, gives great loaf volume and gas retention capabilities, improves your crumb structure. Bromate did many, many wonderful things inside the dough system, and thus it was used by most bakeries around the world. But in recent times, I'd say the last 20 years or so, it's, there's been a, maybe even a little bit longer, there's been a huge shift out of potassium bromate because they found out that it had some carcinogenic properties ultimately in small traces if they were still in there could lead to the onset of cancer and so the baking industry shifted away from this and went into other products uh, like um, ADA which is azodicarbonamide now you can look all this stuff up to get a bit better of an understanding of oxidation in dose systems and the types of things that it does but what we're really here to talk about is I'm going to tell you about the one little hack, which is now uh, something that you can do as, for the home baker, is you can add vitamin C and you can supercharge your loaf with vitamin C. And in the form of ascorbic acid, uh, you can buy it online, it's quick, it's easy to incorporate in there. We're going to talk a little bit more about this. Uh, coming up and uh, but I'm telling you you want to see a big difference in your in your bread product put a little bit of ascorbic acid in there and this is one of the little tricks that's going to help drive your finished product quality to new levels and save you a lot of grief and cover up a lot of the mistakes that potentially you could be making through your processes. Okay, so if you look over here, you can see that I've listed out the application rate for ascorbic acid. Now, keep in mind, you don't need to use very much. That is 0.03% based on flour. So, very small amount. You don't need to go much higher than that. That there will do the trip for you. Very small amount. Be careful of your measurements. Now, you can see also that the list of benefits that it gives you, and bakers have known this for a long, long time, and that is part of the reason why ascorbic acid to this day remains an important part of a baker's overall arsenal for ensuring optimum quality, big volume type bread. So you can read through that list of stuff. Most of it's obvious, oven spring, good gas retention. Um, but that is the trip and that is the secret. Now, if you combine that on top of my other video that I have on vital wheat gluten, now you've got vital wheat gluten in there. Now you've got ascorbic acid in there. Man, you are, it'll cover up a myriad of problems that you might be having. Your days of producing flat, not very good bread, over. So anyway, there you go, and uh, see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'm going to be releasing a lot of these little, a little short videos, so hit that subscribe button. Keep on top of everything that's coming out, and please drop me a line and let me know what uh, you think of everything in the comment section. So anyway, thank you. See you next time on No BS Big.